Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Dolphin in the boat. Solo kingfish trip right there. Mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. On the boat with me today, I got my oldest daughter Chloe, her boyfriend Justin. We're gonna head out, knock on the door, try and wet some lines, see if we can put some fish on the deck. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So we are out of the Boca Inlet today. We're gonna start out by doing some planer trolling on the reef's edge between 90 and 120 feet. We're gonna make smooth S-shaped curves up and down the reef's edge. Let's see if we can uh, find a kingfish. We've changed our setup a little bit. We now have our Penner International 30 with a 300 yard top shot of 80 pound braid. That is tethered to our number six planer. And then that's hooked up with 100 feet of 60 pound monofilament on our orange yo-yo. The lure we are going to be using to start out with is a little dolphin colored squirt squid and a iridescent green sea witch. And then we've got a little skipjack tuna strip instead of a bonita strip hooked onto it. We're gonna be doing about six to eight knots trolling up and down the reef's edge, seeing if we can get somebody to say hello. All right, let's get to this. set we are currently in about 105 feet of water and we're trolling over a spot where we would typically catch kingfish like i said we're gonna go up and down the reef edge seeing if you can find one and uh take it from there all right planners tripped justin's gonna reel it up and see if we got someone if he can barely stand like he says he can there we go put that rod in there Feel them on there? Nope. All right, well, that's a little bit better than nothing. Let's see if we got somebody. Some dinner. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're getting to the planer. Yeah. All right, Blood there you go. Right here. Here, what I want you to do, put that in there. Oh, there's a fish on there, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yep. Alright, here we go. Oh, he did not like that. He just took off. <laughs> he was on a boat and he was like, uh-uh. I don't think so. Not again. That's the best part about, one of the best parts about planer trolling is that, you know, your hand line is in and, you know, it's, it's, it's man versus fish at this point, you know. <laughs> Get all the way back here. Crying. There you go. Don't 
don't stop the line. Don't stop the line. Let him run if he's gonna run. Hold up, hold up. We're gonna real tighten the drag. All right, remember, put your hand up here a little bit forward. There you go. All right, Chloe on. Wait, let him run if he's gonna run. Don't reel against him. All right, Chloe, tuna time. <laughs> So I had somebody the other day write me and ask me, hey, uh, I'm looking to catch Bonita. I told them about this Spro jig. I wrote them in there and this is the reason why. You can troll these, you can bottom fish with them, jig with them. You putting that in that thing, there you go. So it won't hit you in the gut a little bit. There you go. All right, look at Chloe. Like she's been, she has been doing this for years. I got pictures of Chloe when she was, you know, five years old catching fish for all you folks out there that think that ladies are not i mean some of the most fierce anglers that there are look at this she can hang with the best of them most definitely look at that no remorse there we go Yeah, she's a monster. <laughs> we're gonna go back, try to get back on the tuna because we're out here in about uh, 230 feet of water. We got some birds circling around and I'm pretty much sure they're here. Double header! Yeah, look at that, look at that. There we go, there we go, he's smoking it. Let him run, let him run, let him run. All right, real, oh, what you gotta do, hold on. Tighten that up, all right, good to go. Chloe, oh, hold on, let me see, real. Tighten it up, oh man. Double header tuna! Look at this! It is tuna time, folks! What are we gonna do? Who's gonna get to the boat quicker? <laughs> Look at this! We are in beast mode! And Chloe is showing Justin how to do it! Boy, oh, here we go! Chloe's is getting close to the boat! Oh, they're both getting close up. Alright, listen one at a time oh there he goes there he goes justin justin yours is here hey slow up a little bit bite yours get him up to the boat real 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 here he comes all right step back step up that way get up that way one in the boat two in the boat all right chloe here we go black Fin city today boy here we go oh Oh, he's got an animal on there. Look at this. All right, if he's gonna run, let him run. There we go, all right. Put a little bit of that there heat on him. Yeah, here he comes, we see him down there. Wicked tuna, here we go, yeah. Blackfin! All right, there we have it. Double header blackfin tuna, that is fishing at its best. It literally doesn't get any better than that. We're about ready to get back to it. We're trolling really light gear with half ounce white bucktail spro jigs. And uh, that seems to be what they're eating. We're gonna get back to the action right now. And of course, as we were letting the lines out, we're back on. Chloe's reeling them in. You got one? You feel them? Yeah. All right, cool. It's tuna mania today. Black fins for everyone. There we go. 188 feet of water. Here comes Chloe's fish. Down there. Something. This might not be a tuna. This might be a bar jack. He's fighting kind of funny. But we'll see. Whatever it is, it's a fish. <laughs> oh, I see him down there. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got the fish in sight. Here he goes. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's a bonita. Even better. Bait. Look at that. It's bonita time, folks. All right, we're getting back to it. Let the line jump. Trolling some light gear with pro jigs. Tuna are some of the hardest fighting fish in the world, pound for pound. If you're using the appropriately rated gear for the fish that you're trying to target, it's, it, it's great fun. Double header again. 
in. Get up. Don't stand. Don't sit. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Hopefully we're out far enough and we got two tunas hooked up. We shall see. Get him, Chloe. Don't yank it back. Remember, finesse. There you go. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> the double header. It is a stellar day when you get two double headers. I mean, regardless of what species it is. I mean, you know, we brought Chloe and Justin out. They're having a blast. The reels are getting torn up and beat up and punished. And so are they. Oh, you got him. He's coming up. Mm -hmm. All right. Another. Oh, Chloe calls it. Black fin. Here we go. Bring him over here. Yeah, oh, right here. there we go. Oh, oh. Bring him over here. Let's see. Wait, wait. Nope. Yeah, you got a black fin. Black fin in the boat. All right. Put your reel in the in the rod holder right there. There you go. Let him come down. Hello, fishy. Here he comes. All right, good deal. Oh, he's taking off. Let him take off. There you go. That's how we do that. Oh, Justin got a good one. <laughs> Another blackfin, double header blackfin. Second double header blackfin of the day. Woo! Come. Blackfin on the boat. Woo. He ate that jig too. That jig has disappeared. <laughs> like literally, I don't see the jig at all. Man, what a day. Let me try to sit close. All right, so we had a great day. Cannot complain. Nothing better than two double headers. Blackfin tuna, Justin and Chloe. You know, they pretty much put a hurting on the fish today. Can't complain about that. We started out with a game plan. We said, hey, we're gonna drop in the plane or we're gonna go for some kingfish. Cool. We caught one kingfish, nice little snake, about a five pounder, five, eh, maybe six pounder. So planer trolling was pretty much a non-event, but we did nab our target species, which is always a great day. Anytime you catch a fish, it's just a bonus. Then we said, all right, cool, hey, plan B, you know what? The tuna are swimming around. Let's go see if we can find them. We found them. Chloe and Justin, they ended up, we ended up catching five tuna, two bonita. Man, nothing gets better than that. And like I said, two double headers, one day, both of them putting a hurting on the fish. Wow, excellent day. All right, so we are done with our fishing for today. We're gonna head back towards the inlet and call it a day. Clean some fish. Everybody's eating good. That's about that. All right, folks. That about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun. Hope you like watching Chloe and Justin do some tuna slaying. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing. Going wherever the cool wind takes us. All right, here we go. Product of another successful South Florida saltwater fishing trip. Five blackfin, one kingfish, two bonita, Chloe and Justin, the fish slayers of the day. All right, y'all had fun? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You wanna go out and do some more slaying sometime soon? Yeah. All right, sweet. All right, you heard it right from the source. Nothing like two double headers, kingfish, Plants coming together. We'll see you next time. Hey, you. Are you sick? Seasick. Seasick. <laughs>